The alphabet in Welsh is called a wither. Yeah. You're gonna memorize like 50,000 characters. Chinese, you're out. I'm sorry. Oh my god, don't even do it. For English speakers, it's difficult. Easier. No? Really? How do you say that? Hello! Ooh. Easy pronunciation, easy grammar. Because, like, once you know a language to the point of communicating, you're good with that language. But if you don't know how to write or read, well, you can leave with it. So that's why I think pronunciation and like how hard it is to, to put it out is the most important to define if the language is easier or not. Of course, writing and reading is also important. I think an easy language is uh, low barriers to start learning. Yes. So either an easy alphabet or like easy rules. I think yeah. they're easy to start learning. Also, if you have a base language that is similar to that language, yeah. then it's different for each person, but that would also be considered an easier language yeah. to learn. I think the ones we're gonna consider today are like on the standard of for an English speaker person. For any English speaker, that's how we're gonna be voting. I think I agree with her. I think from German perspective, it was pretty easy to learn English because yeah. the grammar is super similar. And I had Latin in school and then we learned Spanish, which was also easy from Latin to Spanish because the grammar is so similar. So for me, when I learn a new language, the grammar is the most important thing. I feel European languages look really similar structure-wise. And when I tried to learn Asian language, then then was my brain was like puree. It was like, what is this? Yeah. For me, as a Brazilian, <laughs> it would be Spanish. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> what, what do you think? I think Indonesian is is the easiest language. <laughs> Aside from Indonesian, I would say English is the easiest to learn because you just you're just so exposed yeah. to English. We're, yeah, that's one yeah. thing that's also very important. Exposure. How exposed you are for to a language. So any other, even Spanish, I was not as exposed as I was to English. Mm. So for me, it was easier to the point that right now I'm fluent in English. I'm not really in Spanish. <laughs> Thank you. I saw you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so both of their bases are the same as like for Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, French. They're they're all Romance languages. They all come from the same bases. So English and German they come from the same bases. That's pretty much obvious. It's time to compare. Kiragana, Ilbon, Aiu, Eo, Kaki Kukeko, Sashi Suseso, Tachitsuteto, Naninenenenno, Hahi Hueho, Mami Memo, Ya Yu Yo, Dari Rurero, Wa O, Mm, Oshke! Kurigoto, Katakana, Rang Hancha, Hancha Nem, Mion Mange. So basically, for Japanese, I think what's the hard part is that they have the kanji. But pronunciation wise, it's really easy. It's like a squared it language. It sounds scary at first because they have the three alphabets and because there's like 48 letters. Oh my god, that's a lot. But if you think it's technically just combination. Yeah. Other alphabet that you just learned it and then you make it with the word. But if you put together L with A, L with I, L with B. You need to learn how to write those. I think the writing might be a, an issue, maybe. But I think it's okay. Okay, so we're not gonna do English because that's boring. <laughs> <laughs> um, the alphabet in Welsh is called a wither. Wither. With R. Okay, so there is another alphabet. Mm, go. So it's its own alphabet. Mm -hmm. It's different from English. We have extra letters and we don't have some letters. Ooh. Okay. In Wales, that Welsh people, if you look at two sets of people stood next to each other, you can tell who's the English people and who's the Welsh people. The Welsh people stand further apart. Is it because you spit so much? <gasps> oh, wait. What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. When I got it, I was like, no way. Oh. Good thing it's raining. Everyone's got umbrellas. <laughs> yeah, we've got our umbrellas. A b k h d v e v f g n h. What? E o k m n o p f r s t f i u e. Okay. How you speak like that? The pronunciation of the alphabet is different. However, it sounds more like the sound the letter makes rather than like the name of the letter. Oh, the, that's true. That's true. So it doesn't sound like a problem for me. It's a phonetic language. Phonetic languages, they tend to be easier in a way because you know how you have to pronounce the letter. Like there is no tricky on like, oh, this letter, it's in here, it's gonna sound like this, but in here, it's gonna sound like a different thing. We have rules though. It's like a mutation of the front of some words, depending on what, the, what you're connecting it with. And it makes it easier for you to say it. But it's a lot of the sound is coming from the back of the throat. Yes. I think that would be hard for me to yeah. pronounce. We do kind of have an alphabet 
in pinyin and that's with like a lot of accents on top of it so it's similar to japanese hiragana and katakana but the problem is if you want to learn how to read it right you're gonna remember like 50,000 characters oh wow so for example like small we would say shall but you can hear it as like a sh sound right because you know we all speak english but when you actually write it it's x mm -hmm. we don't have, technically have an alphabet i personally feel like just a lot of memorizing words for no reason yeah i don't think Chinese is easy because of that. I tried once, yeah. I gave up. Korean, so it goes with So 14, right? So 24. Like, I think alphabet is the easiest thing in Korean that if you yes. learn yeah. for the first time. Yeah. Mm, the, I think the Korean alphabet part that is hard is because there's strong, soft, and like blonde mm, The double consonants are hard mm. to pronounce. Written-wise, it's easy. You just have like a few letters and sure. once you know them, you know them. And Once you know the alphabet, you can read at least. Yes, yes. yes Though yes. not always properly. Okay, next we do the German and so far I think the easiest one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, Y, and Z. You have extra letters, don't you? No. Oh, you have the umlaus that E, U, U. Yes, we have some special ones. O and U with a double dot on top and the s tip <laughs> which is like a s sound you need to explain that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have this one special i think for me the hardest part of the german although it doesn't look like it is the <laughs> sound i never know if i'm doing it too strong i always sound like i'm doing it wrong so yeah that's intimidating it's a combination out of c and h so i don't know i mean alphabet wise it doesn't sound as bad it is bad though so I feel like the Spanish is the easiest one because you actually read exactly the word. Yeah, that's all. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, W, X, Y, Z. Sorry, I forgot those. <laughs> I agree that it's not so easy, but not that it's the easiest pronunciation wise. Because there's a lot of people who won't be able to do the R sound, for example. For English speakers, I think it can be okay. It's one of the easiest ones to, to learn. So I think it's, it would be German and, and Spanish because the alphabet is the same. It's like there's pretty much one thing or here another different, but... Mm. So in French we say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, Y, Z. Same thing to Spanish in a way. Like it doesn't sound bad. It's similar, just the middle part is a bit different from maybe English. Yes. yes but yes, I think yes. that's also the letter names instead of the letter exactly. sounds. Exactly. Because when they put together, it's like, <laughs> what? How do you say that? There's a lot of mute letters and yeah. that stuff. That's part tough. The Ooh. easiest one. Mm -hmm. Chinese, you're out. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> yes, you're the last one. Having no you're alphabet. I would put Japanese, alphabet wise, because there's a lot. You mean easiest or hardest? Hardest. Like, th oh, that would be like Chinese, Japanese. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think German alphabet would be very easy. Okay, let's consider that for an English speaker, they have to learn a new alphabet. Korean is like really easy, but you have to learn a new alphabet. Spanish, Spanish then French. Because for English speakers though. I think Korean, then this Japanese, because Japanese be... has more. Co yeah, no, no, Korean, Japanese, and then Chinese. Oh, Welsh. I feel like English speakers are gonna struggle with Welsh. I think there's only like three letters you'll have a hard time with. And yeah, once you understand right. that we don't have a V, and the V equals F. Oh. And once you understand that like double F and PH are the same sound, you're kind of good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think, it, I think it's first Welsh and then Korean. Any language that you have to learn a new alphabet, you have to learn extra. It doesn't matter what language it is. So it's fourth for Welsh and then fifth would be uh, Korean. Because it really depends on the languages you already know. Yes, because I personally think the sound of Korean is easier, but the alphabet, like not having to learn a new alphabet makes a whole difference. You don't spend the time learning a new alphabet. That's true. Oh. Chinese oh. last one again. No, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, if you pronounce it wrong and you say like the word for horse and mom, yeah. you're calling somebody's mom a horse. Uh -huh. Ma and ma, right? So, gotta be careful. I still can't hear the difference. Are there even tones in other languages except Chinese? Yeah, of course. For, for like yeah. here, for this group. Of course, we have like a like, like for the that just make the the word stronger. And in French, they in have French, the the, 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 yes. the emphasis. Same for Portuguese. Yeah, that's oh. why. I think either Korean or Japanese tone wise would be the easiest because they speak plain. Like in the end, like question na 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 and answer na na na. That's it. And Japanese would be the same. It's like really plain. At the same time, you can't speak those languages just 
straight on to sound yes. natural because there's the uh, like, like, it's always like, before uh, every pause it always goes up like wa no 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 so like it has a mm. and then mm. but it's like no 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 so Japanese then Korean. Well, what do you think? Why are you putting me on the spot? <laughs> because you're the one who's native English speaker. Because the thing is, for Japanese, the only thing is together with the consonants. Ka, da, ba. Is that difficult? I don't think it's hard at all. Right. I think the hardest part is like when it changes based on how I pronounce the word, yes. like the tone. This is a misconception. Like a lot of people think this. For example, like sometimes when you say things, it doesn't sound the way it's supposed to. Like in Mandarin, if we say like, oh, did you eat yet? We'll be like, oh, 吃了饭没有. Like it's kind of very even. I don't know, like smooth. But then when you say it in Kanto, like especially when we say it like at home, it's like, 吃了饭没有. And it oh, low-key yeah. kind of right. sounds aggressive. Yeah. But no, we're just asking like, did you eat dinner yet? Like, <gasps> that, that's all we're asking. So, tones in Cantonese is a lot worse than Mandarin in my opinion. But because, would that be easier yeah. to learn though? Yes and no. If you learn how to speak it first, it's a little bit easier to get, get like the grasp of things. But like once you learn how to read it and you can't pronounce it very well, oh my god, don't even do it. I, I think it's about the nuances. Yeah, like the situation. It depends on situation and nuances or like uh, the like intention of yes, conversation. Yes. But we don't like learning the tone should go up. Mm -hmm. At that time, don't we do. We do, we do, we do But I still don't think it must be as hard as in Chinese or Cantonese. It's about the syllable. The syllable has a different mm -hmm. sound. Tone-wise, I don't think French would be hard. But pronunciation, <laughs> German pronunciation, I would be so doomed to answer that. But for English speakers, it's difficult. Easier. No, really? I worked in retail and I had some customers who were from the US or from the UK. They can't I'm get so rid sorry. of it. They and try, to... try, but they can't get rid of it and it's very difficult for them. They struggle mm. a lot. Tone-wise, I don't think you have a lot of variations, right? When you're speaking, you go very, very like... When we speak in Brazil, we sing. A lot of people say like, oh, you're singing. It's yeah, more yeah. stable. Yeah, it's more stable. Spanish. Ooh. Pronunciation, I think it's easier for, for American speakings, like for English speakers. Intonation, I don't think so. You guys vary it a lot, like you, you vary a lot, a lot. I mean, if you miss one, like, you know, intonation, it could mean a lo another word, like papa or papa. Like yeah. papa, it's like father and papa, it's like a potato, so. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> you know, from the context, you will get it 100%. Spanish doesn't sound so difficult to get it. Like if you speak, even if you're not using the right intonation, you get the message you want. Why, while in other languages, not so much. If you don't write, don't speak in the same intonation in Korean, for example, you don't know if you're making a question or an answer. 100%. It's like you have a context and then you miss like u or u, and they are like, what? That's not okay. Oh, what do you mean? Yeah, like in you are like and in, no, I don't get it. Yeah, so that's that's really tough. But I think in Spanish that would be easier. Like and but they do have a lot of tones, a lot of tones. I didn't know Spanish have tones. French, okay. It's just yeah. daunting. <laughs> also because what you read is not what you pronounce. They have like a, a lot of vocals that actually are written in that world, but you pronounce the other word, the other vocals that are not in the word. I saw that. I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ooh, but you say oh. You write all the other letters except for what it's pronounced. It's really hard in that in the point. I think who Chinese and, and French in that case would be like there. <laughs> okay, so pronunciation wise and tone, pronunciation and tone. I'm thinking like which one is harder. I think it would be like. Chinese, French. I think Welsh is not gonna be easy. No, I don't know. I, well, I will say one thing about Wales. If you want tones, go to the south. If you don't want to hear people singing, just go to the north. Yeah. Like, I can guarantee all the comments on this will be like, she's not from Wales. And I'm like, hmm, I'm from the north, so yes, I am. Mm. <laughs> then I think it would go yeah. German. Right? I don't know. It's if I say German is not that hard in comparison to like Spanish, for example, because mm. German doesn't have the Me tones. Too. I think it would be then Spanish and German probably. Wait. Korean. But, but the German also has hard no, consonant see, combinations that would be hard to pronounce. That's tough. It's so impossible to, to actually properly measure that. So Japanese is number percent. one. And then Korean. For English speakers, yes. this is very subjective, but very subjective. we will yeah. stick with this for now. No, no, no. Change Welsh and Spanish. <laughs> Welsh couldn't be that easy. Frustrating. 
<laughs> Absolutely frustrating. Yeah. To begin with, we're not native English speakers, which make That's it harder. Right. So like, I think in my own language, if I yeah. think about comparison, and like at the same time, I didn't have the same struggles as a native speaker. And number two, we know different languages. We know different languages. So the languages that come easily to us Necessary is different for to. other people. Yes. And at the same time, like native speakers, they usually don't know the own hardships on their own languages. Yes. So the same goes for Portuguese when people go like, but why is like that? I'm like, I don't know, isn't that supposed mm. to be easy? So. <laughs> It's really tough to rank and it goes by people. So like it goes very much by person. So I think it's tough. So today we rank people's languages by certain topics. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.